Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 37 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to apply rules inside of paragraphs. So right now uh, I have a very bland, bland design right here. So in order to apply the rule what I can simply do is I can select uh, the first I don't need to actually select this so just go over here onto this section and then over here you can see that uh, you have something called rules. So let me see where it is. It is the, uh, it is located right here. You can see that there's paragraph rules right here. So uh, just select paragraph rules and you can see that there's rule above. It has added a line in there. So you can increase the weight just like this. So you can press rule on so that, okay, uh, the rule actually turns on and you can increase the weight just like this. So you can see that that is how the rule is applied. And over here in the color, you can select the color of the rule as well. And over here, you want to uh, change the offset just like this. So you can see that you can add this to the top just like this. And I want to be in. Uh, the, I want this to be inside the uh, main paragraph rule right here. So I can simply uh, check on keep in frame just like this. So you can see that this rule is actually being applied just like this. And over here, uh, you can also do this. So uh, on the width, you can select column or text so that actually this uh, keeps the width to the text just like this. And you can see that that is actually unique. You can even choose the type of the rule, so you can uh, select this one or this one, which is actually common with the word design, so you can select this one or this one, as you can see, just like that. And over here, you can even add dotted rules, uh, something like wavy lines and so forth, so you can add in diamonds, so you can that uh, this is to uh, please say, so let me just press dash right here. You can even fill the gap over here, uh, like from, uh, for example, the color right here, so you can see that you can overprint the gap and so forth. So now uh, you can also, let's say, I'm going to select a darker blue so that it gives a unique design just like that. And I can also increase the gap, increase or decrease the gap tint just like this. You can uh, actually adjust the gapping just like that. So you can even set the offset. You can see that it uh, offset from the design just like this. And even you can do the right indent. You can see that you can change the size of the title. Uh, let's say right indent around one picus and left indent around one picus. You can see that that actually uh, indents the um, indents the rule from both the sides. So I'm just gonna leave it leave both to zero, and just gonna press OK. And whenever I type something, you can see that that actually changes along. So now you can select this as well, and over here onto this section, just go over here into paragraph rules over here, and turn on the rule over here, and then increase the weight just like this. And then over here in the offset, just like this, you know, I set the offset uh, to below. And now I'm going to select the column into text just like this. And I'm going to select this into something like, let's say, plain blue. So you can see that this is how you can um, apply the offset just like this. So now I can just increase the size over here. And you can see that I got the offset. Now, if you were, if you were to copy and paste this title, you can see that the design actually gets copied out just like that. So just press Enter over here. And then you can see that I got my uh, place just like this. So you can see that I can even type it and change the title. So this is going to be a, a different title just like this. And you can see that this is how um, the were, um, um, this is how the um, uh, titles and rules work inside of the wind design. So you can uh, see that you can cr easily create uh, very unique designs quite easily without uh, much hassle of manually designing those rules. So this is how you can design rules, uh, paragraph rules inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.